Viewer discretion is advised. to Joe Henke, who is in our other studio with criminal defense attorney Daryl Cohen to weigh in on this case and also the jury's verdict. Joe? Joining us here, uh, former prosecutor, now defense attorney. You've been on both sides of the courtroom here. Um, one distinction being made between the defendants already is the malice murder charge. Everyone is found guilty of murder here, but only Travis McMichael found guilty of malice murder. We're waiting to hear when sentencing will take place, but um, does that sort of differentiate their cases moving forward here of how they're handled now? No, I think... Please stand. Verdict is as follows. In the Superior Court of Glenn County, State of Georgia, the State of Georgia versus Travis McMichael, case number CR000433. Jury verdict form. Count one, malice murder. We the jury find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. I'm going to ask that whoever just made an outburst be removed from the court, please. correspondent Omar Villafranca. Omar, great to see you. You are there outside the courthouse in Brunswick, Georgia. What's the mood like there and in the larger community? It's a celebratory mood right now. When we were listening as the judge was reading uh, the verdicts, there were loud cheers of applause outside of the courtroom. The crowd that was behind me, uh, a few hundred, just started clapping and screaming. Inside, after the judge read the first uh, charge, uh, the verdict, excuse me, uh, about Travis McMichael, malice murder, uh, which is the most serious of those charges, um, inside the courtroom, there was just an, a guttural, you know, a guttural reaction from the Arbery family. And the judge had to pause and basically say, there can't be any reaction in here. But that just goes to show you inside and outside, 
what was going on. It was uh, very cheerful here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Scott, build birdhouses, build a website. Bluehost makes it easy to create a fly WordPress website or online store. became part of the story, and we'll get to that later in the show, but, but first tell me um, how the Arbery family is doing today. Well, they, uh, I was sitting between the mother and father holding hands praying when the jury came in, and uh, when the guilty verdict was announced, uh, Mrs. Uh, Wanda broke down and started crying, and Marcus, the father, just jumped up and started screaming. We had to take him out of the courtroom. I think as much confidence as they exuded throughout the several months, and, and as you said, I was involved through National Action Network in the case even before the video was discovered. They always said that they believed they could win, but you never know until it happens. And I think the emotional uh, uh, outburst was a relief. We had lunch right before uh, uh, the uh, verdict was announced. In fact, we were having lunch, Marcus and Attorney Crump and I, when we got the call to come back, there was a verdict. And uh, they just was preparing themselves for the worst. I've gone through so many trials that looked good, uh, from the Amaru Diallo trial to the Sean Bell trial, and then got there and got not guilty. So I was preparing them for the worst. Uh, and thank God it did not happen this time. But again, this means... 